Welcome to The Open Word, an online ministry of Boone Open Bible Church. Thank you for joining us. On today's program, we bring you Upfront and Practical, featuring Paul Becker from OBC. And now, here's Paul. Welcome to Upfront and Practical. Well, as with an epilogue, which means a concluding, an act of a story, uh, God of Miracles did not conclude at the end of the Apostles' era. As we conclude the God of Wonders, we have found, we have walked through the journey, that God is a God of Miracles. As Psalm 77, 14 says, you are the God who performs miracles. You display power among the people. The Bible uses three main words to refer to miracles, sign, wonder, and power. These three words help us understand the phrase, God of miracles. Or as we said in the last video cast states, God of wonders, there are numerous miracles in the Old and New Testament. For an example, Moses and the burning bush, but the bush was not consumed by the fire, but it moved Moses to a place to receive God's message. God never uses miracles to use us, but they are there to serve a purpose. Like with Lazarus, Jesus said from the dead, he confirmed this purpose that if you believe, you will see the glory of God, John 11, 40 through 42. The Bible also portrays God as a God of miracles, a God who has revealed his power to us and who is worthy to be praised. His miracles declare his absolute control over nature, events, and people. His miracles reveal who God is and his presence in his kingdom to reveal his glory. As I said in one of the earlier uh, podcasts, the greatest miracle that God ever did was send his son to become a man that through his sacrificial death on the cross overcame the power of death through the resurrection and paid the penalty for sin and the miracle of salvation was accomplished. And I'm thankful for that. I hope you've enjoyed the journey of God of Wonders and the why we believe in miracles. For Upfront and Practical, I'm Paul Becker. I'll see you next time.